So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. Alright, see you on the ground floor. Just let me at that Northern Light Attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. Thank <laughs> you. 
get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water, and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Nice work. Trot old Grizzleface over to the next oil main by luring him with fish. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move.
can run pretty fast. He's on the way. Grizzleface has caught the scent. He's coming. can run pretty fast. He's on the way. Murray's informant. That's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. <laughs> now to hack the steering controls.
boats heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen.
With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley.
Watch out for those eagles, they don't look friendly. The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Hassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basan's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Thank <laughs> you. 